After much scrambling about at last night's Samsung Unpacked event and spending a few snatch moments in the company of the fabled handset, we finally managed to get our hands on one here at Samsung's HQ to spend a bit more time with it and see what all the fuss is about. So here it is nestling in my hand and as you can see it's a rather nice looking bit of kit. Samsung have gone to great lengths to stress how the S3 takes its design cues from nature, drawing influence from pebbles, leaves, water and all that other outdoorsy stuff. If you look at the chassis you can see where the pebble bit comes into play as it's all rounded edges and smooth lines. This is also evident in the little touches incorporated into the jazzed up TouchWiz UI. Look, just prod the screen and you'll get a tiny ripple. Just like you'd stuck your hand in a pond. Anyway, enough of the naturism, because just look at that screen. A 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display, which not only kicks out some stunning visuals, but is really responsive to boot. There's also an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash on the back, and the S3 scores highly on the front facing snapper uh, front as it packs a 1.9 megapixel lens capable of HD recording. Nice. So you've seen what it looks like, but what about all those lovely insidey bits that Samsung say makes this phone designed for humans? A phrase that we assume to mean that it's actually useful in everyday life, and not that all of the smartphones that have gone before it have been designed for horses. Well, before we crack open the goodies, it's important to tell you that the S3 runs ice cream sandwich out of the box and is powered along by a muscular 1.4 GHz quad-core processor. So as you can imagine, it's pretty swift in doing stuff and you'll get all the bells and whistles that the brand new little green robot brings along. But onto those other features, the first of which is something called pop-up play functionality, which rather cleverly allows users to carry out other tasks, such as web perusal, while still watching a video, just by minimising that video into an easily repositioned tile. Another cool feature is Samsung Smart Stay Tech, which is a nice bit of functionality which utilises the front facing snapper to monitor where your eyes are pointing and then adjust the screen accordingly. So, for example, if I'm reading a web page and I get distracted, oh look, a horse, it'll adjust the screen accordingly and shut it down to save power. How cool is that? We say quite possibly the best for last though. Meet S Voice, Samsung's attempt at a Siri style automated robo butler that'll do your bidding just by asking it. Yeah, we know that Sammy's Android offerings have had a similar function in the past, but this ramps things up a touch, and you can now do stuff like unlock your phone from standby just by honking one of five predetermined phrases at it. So look, hello Galaxy, and it's up and running. Hopefully that's given you a bit of food for thought and quelled your desire for S3 based knowledge. Because of the amount of time we've had to spend with the handset, we haven't been able to cram everything in, such as the awesome social tag functionality and S beam wireless file transfer. But sure enough, we'll be back in due course to be giving it a full going over with a proper review. If you do like what you see, it's available for pre-order now at Phones4U. So visit our website and see what the crack is.